Hello and welcome to Platform SH. This video is just going to be a quick workflow demo to show off some of the basic features you're going to end up loving as you work with Platform SH. So you can see what I've got here is just a local development website and what I have here in my other tab is the Platform SH project admin and what I have here in this other desktop is my editor and my terminal. And you can see with a git branch that I just have the one master branch. If we hop back over here into my project admin, you can see I'll also just have the one master branch. Now master represents the production state of our website. This is what the public sees when they come to your website. So you want to make sure that this is never ever broken. So the very first thing we're going to do is click on this orange button here and create a new branch called dev. And so any new work that we do is going to go into dev before it goes into master. That way you can QA, test out, show your boss, your coworkers, whomever needs to sign off on it and get a second set of eyes on it so you can make sure that you never push broken code to master. Okay, so dev is done building. Now we're actually going to create two more branches that are going to represent different features that different developers are going to be working on. So we're going to create a branch called feature sidebar and then we're going to hop back in here to dev and create a new branch called feature line length. Okay, so now I'm going to hop back over to my terminal and we're going to do a git checkout b feature sidebar and this is going to be an extremely simple change just to demonstrate some of the features here so we're going to change the background of this sidebar from that gray to this blue here all right that's looking good so we're going to do a git add we're doing a git commit give it a nice meaningful commit message here and then we will push it up to our feature sidebar branch at platform sh Okay, here we are, the build is on the way. So we're gonna hop back into our project admin and check out our sidebar feature. Sure enough, this is looking good, so we're gonna send that off to QA to check out. While they're doing that, we're going to assume the role of a different developer on the team. We're going to check out locally the feature line length branch. And this again is just gonna be a very quick change. So we're gonna comment, uncomment this line here and check it out on our local development environment. And you can see, yes, the content div is tighter. And so we're happy with that. We're going to add it, we're going to commit it, and we're going to push it up to the feature line length branch at Platform SH. Okay, so while that's building, let's take a look at the sidebar branch. This is looking good. QA has given the sign off on this, so we're gonna go ahead and merge this into dev. This is going to merge any changes that have happened in your feature branch into the dev branch. And this actually performs a git merge behind the scenes. So while that's building, let's check out the line length feature. And sure enough, this is looking great, but we now have a very common scenario. We have work that has been merged into the dev branch that we don't have incorporated here into our feature line length branch. So we want to come up here to the sync button. And what the sync button does is performs a merge from the parent environment or branch into our feature environment or branch so that we can make sure that we have any changes, there are no conflicts uh, between the changes that have happened in dev in the meantime and our feature here. The sync button isn't just a merge code button, it's also capable of pulling a byte for byte copy from any production databases or solar indexes or if you have any new files that have been uploaded to your production environment in the meantime. Uh, it can also pull those into your development environments as well. So the days of dumping a database in production and restoring it to a development environment are now behind you. We can perform a byte for byte copy in seconds with the sync button as well. This is done building, we'll check it out. And as we would expect, both of the features now have been incorporated into our branch. So we can go ahead and merge this one into dev. So if you check out this log here, you see slug already built for this tree ID. What that means is that because there is no new work that's happening between dev and the feature line length branch, we can just go ahead and redeploy the exact same code that has already been built for the feature line length branch into the dev branch and deploy that into the dev environment. And so no new code has been introduced. You can be absolutely positive that what you just QA'd in the feature line length branch is going to be the exact same thing that shows up in the dev branch. And we'll check this out in the dev branch here. And sure enough, we have both of the changes just like we would expect. And so we can go ahead and merge this into master and this will constitute a production deploy. And you can see here, once again, this slug has already been built. So you don't have to worry about any new changes being introduced. You've already QA'd this thing several times by this point. So you can be absolutely certain that what you deploy into master here, your production environment is what you've already QA'd uh, numerous times already. 
So congratulations, we just went from pushing straight to master to using the tools correctly and safely in less than five minutes with Platform SH. Thank you very much and see you next time.